I'm here because I cannot find a quality man anywhere. I'm new here to New York, and it just seems really difficult for a person like me to find somebody um, good and qualified and somebody to meet up my standards, and I'm hoping that Howard can help me find somebody. Now, what is a quality man, in your opinion? A quality man is someone who's caring, loyal, puts me first, um, doesn't cheat, um, and just overall makes me laugh and I have a good time with, and that's about it. So what do you think Howard's going to tell you? Well, I think Howard's going to tell me, hopefully I'm a good-looking girl, what's my problem? Maybe do I have an attitude or something? But I'm hoping that maybe my insecurities after this show, um, maybe I'll have some opportunities or something, but I'm hoping that Howard can help me either get a date or make some friends or do something. All right, this girl called us. She said, I'm really, really good looking. I'm a school teacher. I'm an eight at least. On a scale of one to ten, I'm an eight. Another eight coming. Yeah. And she says, look, I'm really cute. I can't meet a guy. Like, I can't meet any good guys. And we said, well, either there's something wrong with you. She goes, if I come in there, you tell me what's wrong with me because I'm telling you, I'm really cute. I'm an eight. Has she ever had a guy? Yeah, she has guys and stuff. She, she claims she's really good looking. But already some of the guys in the hall met her and said, well, they know why she's not getting guys. Oh, really? They could look at her and tell. Well, she's annoying. Uh, yeah, she's cute. Very cute. Very cute girl. She Hi. keeps asking for it. She'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> Take a seat. She's a school teacher? Yeah. I mean, she's a good looking girl. There's no yeah. question. She's really, she's hot. Sleep with one of the students. Everybody else is doing it. Yeah. Hey, baby. I mean, if you want any criticism, your hair doesn't work because you have two-toned hair. Like, like, make it one nice color. It looks fake. But that wouldn't stop guys. No, that wouldn't stop any guy. Do you I know what I'm talking about? Yes. You do. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Jamie. Jamie, and you're a school teacher, and how old are you? 32. 32, and you're saying it's hard to meet dudes. It's really hard for me to meet people. Yeah. Now, most of the guys in the hall are just saying you're really annoying. And I don't know what they mean by that. I don't know you, but they just well, said your yeah. personality is very grating. She's, she's a little, I was just talking to her for a little while. She's a little talky, but not so bad. Just follow me. I'll show you where to sit. I'm going to hand you a pair of headphones just to put them on. The biggest thing you need to know is just stay close to the microphone. That's the most important thing. Okay, is there anything else I need to know about not, I mean, I know we can't, because um, I'm the type of person when I ramble, my mouth goes, and I don't want to, like, cut any curse words or anything. Yeah, just don't, just don't curse. So is that the only thing? Like you can't like talk. Of, you can't say like words like. Vagina. You can't say like words like that, right? Well, you can say the word vagina, but you can't say like. Like if he asks me, you have anal. Well, I guess if he's saying it to me, then I can. Right. You just yeah, yeah but you know. See, I think she seems a little crazy. I'm just. I'm so nervous right now. Are I'm you? Really nervous. Right, calm down. Take a deep breath. <laughs> she talks a lot. I think when she gets nervous, she talks more. So far, she hasn't said a word. She said, "I'm Jamie." <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't annoying. I, Sweetheart, you're hot. This is cute. Yeah. I can't see you. I'm just. <laughs> but don't look at me. I, I, I take that so bad because I just I talk a lot. I'm very outgoing, and I just feel there's something wrong with me. That's exactly why I came here. I don't. I wanted you maybe to evaluate me and your crew to tell me, you know, what is it that I'm doing wrong? Is it that I talk too much? Is it that um, I portray some certain kind of person? I mean, this is who I am. I just. Well, it could be too that you're. Oh. What are, are you? Uh, what is that accent? What are you? I'm from I'm from Long Island, but I've lived yeah. in uh, out very, of state in the Midwest for thirteen Jewy? years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of <laughs> where does she live now? Because that could be a problem. Israel, I think. Uh, Israel. <laughs> Israel. <laughs> I lived Israel, but I don't live in Israel. I live out in Long Island. Yeah, I thought so. Long Island. But you, I'm thinking maybe you're setting your sights a little too high. Like you think you deserve like you know like like a famous actor or. Well, I do. I mean, I've, yeah, that's I've, it. no, I don't deserve an actor. I deserve a real good man who's going to, I've put myself out there a couple of times. I've been in some serious relationships and they've failed. And yeah, of course I blame myself, but I'm like, what is wrong with me? Maybe that, you're looking for Brad Pitt. Seriously. No, I'm not. No. I'm I, just looking for a decent, loyal, caring person who's going to love me for who I am with all my faults and everything and I figure coming back to New York would be a great opportunity for me to meet all sorts of people I'm not trying to hurt your feelings but your voice already is getting on my nerves oh and my you God. talk a lot you do you talk a lot I'm just trying to figure out what it is about you <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I mean, you know, even your laugh is annoying. It it, is. No. That was hey. him. That was That was you. No. That hey, was you. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm trying it. to figure it out oh what your problem God, is. Robin, can you save me, please? Uh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I want to try to figure this out. Don't look, look to Robin. see anything wrong. Your looks are not the problem. But what's with that jacket? Take it off. Let me see what's doing. Maybe there's a defect somewhere. Oh, she's I'm not a little sure. girl. That's okay. Yeah. How tall are you? Oops, excuse me. Uh, with or without my boots? Without the boots. About 4'11", four, 5 four, foot. 5 foot. Yeah. Sure. You got nice big boobies? You got, what, you got a B cup? Yeah, but actually I lost about 30 pounds. I was a D at one point, and I've lost a lot of Let me see you. Stand it. up a little bit. Let me take a look at you. Let me look you over. You got a nice yeah. body. Yeah, I mean, she's cute. Yeah. I was thinking do, that... Do you look good in a bathing suit, or are you a mess? <laughs> I don't like how I look in a bathing suit. What do you wear? One piece when you're out on the beach? No, I wear a bikini, but I always wear like the uh, sarong over it so nobody has to see the bottom part. Why? Because your ass got jello on it? Maybe a little bit. A little bit. bit of cellulite? So wear a one piece. Maybe that's turning some guys off. They're catching a look at you uh, at the you're, bathing suit. You're being silly. That Thank isn't you. stopping any guy. Oh, no, yes, Robin. it does. It's not, you're looking at supermodels now, and that's yeah, your you No, I'm saying Howard. wear one piece. You know what you I want? This, can get away with I'm saying wear one piece. You have this piece. tall girlfriend right. that probably has no fat on her. I'm Zero. a little bit. And you <laughs> <laughs> Zero fat. Howard, so she's standard. living in the real world, Howard. Howard, where she's a good she's a good pick. I was wondering if maybe she's, you know, she only like do you only date Jewish guys? Is that the no, I don't. I mean, I just got a relationship, um, three-year relationship with a Korean American, and I'm not discriminatory at all. Is there any? Is there any culture you won't date? The Korean guy dumped you? I was gonna no, say she can't even the Korean guy Korean. did not dump me. Who dumped? The, what happened? You dumped the Korean? Yes, I had le no. Actually, I left the the Korean for a reason. It was just. It What's was the reason? Reasons. Personal reasons? Too uh, small. <laughs> the no. eating of dogs. Craig, yeah, you're no, on no, here. No, no, no. Hey, Howard. Good morning. How are you? Yeah. I'm calling from Florida. I'm ready to turn it off because this bitch is annoying. Oh my God! Why are yeah, you Explain to her that? what is it. Be honest though. What's that, annoying? That's, that's, that's why I left Long Island. Girls like that. Whatever. Why? I'm, be I'm being myself. She's a good-looking uh, girl. She, what's wrong? Uh, what's wrong she, with someone? She has that like high-pitched voice. And no, she, you're just talking know, because just, that's what Howard said. You don't even I know me. Say, Wait, hold like it. Curly no, hair the Long Island's gonna come out. Can I tell you something, honey? I'm sorry. This is your problem. Why you lose guys? This guy's trying to tell you what you want to hear, and you're fighting with him. You're not letting him talk. Okay. Let's hear what he has to say. Listen to men. We know what we're doing. Yeah, this is a guy. He's, a, he's going to tell you. He's got nothing to lose here. All right. All right. Go ahead, Craig. Tell me I, what's wrong. I think she's got a, a high voice. She's, she's probably... Uh, how tall are you, sweetheart? Five foot. Five, that's another problem. I need a nice tall girl. But she, she sounds like she's... Uh, I don't know. She just she has a high voice, and she sounds, doesn't let you get a word in edgewise here. Right, right. Can can I respond or no? No. no. What's well, the response? What's the respond? No, but does this this person knows me maybe for three minutes on uh, the air? Well, Here's I'm, how it has to be. But that's how guys see you when they when they look. If you'd say you go into a bar and guys won't even approach you, so that's what guys in a bar see. And I'm not saying he's right, but a guy might see you talking and might go. Eh. Jack, go ahead. Do you hey, find? Hey, hey, Howard. She said one of the first things she said. I'm trying to portray myself to be something I'm not. What? That's what? interesting. I mean, she, she's already talking crazy. She didn't even say anything. And, and how could you say that Beth Ellis have an ounce of fat on her? Everybody has fat on them. She doesn't have an ounce. Well, Come on, Howard. I've seen her ass. We've seen her. She has no, no. fat. Beth Ellis has got no fat on her ass, please. No None. fat. None. I've seen it in the face chain. They airbrushed that, Howard. No, no she's not. not. She's not airbrushed. It, it, I've seen her sitting by the pool. There's no airbrush. You're thinking veins, of Benji. She's got all those veins by her eyes, bro. What are you no. talking about? Chauncey, Chauncey said that. So this is, uh, you know who this is. This, this is, is um, Sean the Rapper. Wow. Here's what guys want. You know, you ready, sweetheart? Well, I'm gonna play a little scene. Like me and you sit down at a restaurant, okay? And we're okay. You ready? Yes. Okay. This is me. I go, so, uh, sweetheart. How was your day? My day was fine. How was yours? Let's order. Okay. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't want to hear you saying anything about your day or anything. All right. All right, Rick. Go ahead. Principal Stern, this teacher has not been monitoring her students effectively. I think she needs to pay a visit to the Robo Spanker. <laughs> All right, look, I'm being She's serious. Not here for the that. girl came to me for help. She's saying, look, I've been dating dudes, every guy, it doesn't work out. I can't imagine what didn't work out with the Korean Americans. <laughs> Well, uh, that's her personal business. But what if? You, but what are her standards that. like? What if, well, like me or Benji, would you no, go for I, guys who look like us? Would you go for a guy who looked like Artie? I, I mean, mean, without like, the yes. fame. Seriously. Without the fame. Look. Be serious. 
Me or Benji? No, Stand up, you Benji. wouldn't. And in fact, you know what, Howard? She goes on J-Date a lot. That's where Benji used to be. That was guys like Benji are on J-Date. What's J-Date? Jude date Jude date Jude 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 is, you know, I put my information um, up there to maybe get myself out there, and I responded to a couple people, and I met maybe two or three. Benji, they, you'd respond to her, right? Uh, she looks very cute. I mean, uh, she would seems you, nice. You'd go out with her, right? I'm dating someone now, but yeah, yeah she seems, I'm saying she if you were nice single. enough. Yeah. yeah. Howard, if I were single, I'd go out with her in a yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Based hell on yeah. Looks yeah, but so what's happening is she's getting dates, she's I get a feeling. She's turning them off somehow. She's a turn off. What is that? You're a turn off. I am. Well, that's what you're telling me. I, right, and I want to know. I'm she, trying to figure out. Maybe what that's is why it I came here. What it is. I tell you this one thing that really creeps me out about this broad. <laughs> Look at her chest. She has like these real deep, dark, fat brown freckles all over her chest. I don't. I don't mind that. That that looks like it looks like somebody splattered a fart all over her. Oh, oh, sun poisoning. God, I got yes. freckles. I wasn't born with any. Freckles ain't turning me off. Yeah, I like the freckles. Thank you. I think it's kind of cute. Uh, Do they go all the way down to like your your no, belly? No, they're just here. I had very bad. Some poisoning, and yeah. this is what happened. You might want to you might want to borrow some tanning cream from Sal. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like her like her freckles are on her face or anything. Yeah, yeah but okay. th if you're if you're in that area, Howard, and you've seen all those brown speckles, it's like your buddy just gave her a Cleveland Actually, steamer or something. Many people like it; they think it's cute. I mean, I don't. I've never had a complaint about it. I don't think physical appearance is her problem. No, it's yeah. not. She's right, saying, Howard, she's saying when she's in a bar, mm -hmm. that that guys won't even approach her. She th she feels like she gives her some vibe that that. Won't make guys come near her. Hook nose Mike, go ahead. Morning, how would you hook nose Jew bastard? Listen, my ears are bleeding from this monotone chick. <laughs> Dude, she's got no animation in her voice. She's like, yes, yeah, how are you doing? I am from Long Island. Am I so sad? All right. Okay. All right. Well, there, the guys are being honest. They're being honest. There's no emphasis on any of the words. You know what I mean? It's all just one kind of tone. And like you're a fun, robot. Are you fun? Are you fun sexually? Yes, uh, I love. Uh, I mean, I could tell you a lot of things. I mean, I just I'm trying to keep it. Keep it real. Keep it real, and I'm not just because I don't have voice inflection and how I'm saying my words doesn't mean anything. I'm a really outgoing, fun girl. Someone said. Oh my somebody God. said you you once uh, had lesbian sex with a 200 pound woman. <laughs> really? <laughs> Is that true? I had a bisexual experience with someone that was double my my weight, and I thought it was something that I would like because it was like boyish type. She was boyish. Yeah. yeah, and it wound up not to be for me. So I'm more attracted to feminine looking, like me, long, pretty, you know, hair. Have you made it with a feminine looking girl? You yes, have. Yes, I have. When did you do that? I actually did. Well, I did it two times. I did once last year, and I did it actually last weekend. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Last weekend with a girl? Yes. Where'd you meet the girl? I met this girl online, and she's she's a very good-looking girl, and we met a couple times out. You met her on J-Date? No, I didn't meet her on J-Date. She met her on Annoying she Dot Com. Where do, somebody you meet, where do you meet these girls online? Yeah, so whatever. I put, like, a Yahoo's personal up and um, wanted For to girls? see... For girls? Yeah, just to oh. see if I could, you know, meet some friends. Right. Girls. And then um, the, I get these girls responding to me saying, oh, are you into women, blah, 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 blah. And I met some, you know, I met her a couple times, then we went to this... Where do you meet? Well, we met at a restaurant first time, then we went to a coffee house. And, and she I'm was hot? She was pretty, yes. What'd she look like? She's hot as you? Really long hair. She's... she's She's petite and little like me, a little bit Spanish-looking, Latin-looking. Right. And, um, and you met at a restaurant on Long Island? Yeah. And she was from Long Island? Mm-hmm. And she was like, wow, you're really cute. I want to go out with you? She's like, I'm attracted to you. I'm like, really? And uh, she said, yeah. And I'm like, it just it grew, and, and it happened. Well, so. how many dates did you go on before you started doing her? Two. Two? Wow, you were really attracted to her. Yeah, it's funny. Like, when I get intimate at first, it just... I Do girls dump you too, or just guys? No. Do girls like you? Yeah, maybe you're into girls. Maybe you should stick with the girl thing. Well, yeah, it sounds like you might be gay. <laughs> you don't want to? I'm that? not gay. I no. love Were men. you scared to go home with her because you met her on the internet? Well, since I met her out in, in public a couple of times, I trust, I mean, we talk every day, and I met her out on the internet. Uh, I met her in a couple of restaurants, and I knew that she was cool. She has a good family, and I'm like... I don't think it'd go wrong. So she here. said, "Look, I really want to be alone with you." She's like, "I'm attracted to you. I, you know, I'd like to, you know." She didn't come out and say that, but you but could get the vibes, and it happened. Did it, Where know? did she go? Where did you go? To your house or hers? Car. A car. A car. No, you're a player. Yeah, a car because I live at home. I have 
father brother there and I'm respectful and she has a family and we just spur of the moment I mean she laid one on me and that was it we were out we were out there for a long time what did she say she said let's go out to the car what was she wearing when uh, this happened uh we were both wearing like like long black pants tight cue boobs showing right. um and uh I was really I was I felt the vibe coming Does on. Does she look like anyone famous that we could relate to? Um not really. N- no, she doesn't look like anybody famous. She has a different kind of look. Right. Is she like an 8 or a 9? She's probably about <laughs> She's probably like an 8. An 8. So, so it's hot two as eights. you. Yeah. I just think like when we're next to each other like everyone was coming up to us in the place we were at they're like, "Wow, are you two together?" and we're like and I'm like, "Yeah, this is my girl" cuz I didn't want People coming up to me, I was enjoying, you know, hanging Guys out. Guys were with hitting her. nine to two of you. Sort of like yeah. it was like a couple place, right? Where couples look for females or couples look for males. So you, so she said, let's go to the car. You go in the car. I'd say, yeah. Aren't there people the, around? They can look into actually, the car. Actually, my car was like far off. Yeah. And um, she. In a private place, the. Uh, yeah. The we car. actually went in a neighborhood and parked, and oh. I, I kept seeing this car going around, and I'm like, oh, someone must be watching. We were out there for a good hour and a half. No kidding. So what happened? She leaned in, and as soon as you got in the car, was she sitting on the driver's side, or were you in the back seat? Driver's side. You I were was in the, on driver's the driver's side. side. And where was she? She's in the passenger seat. Yep. And then she's like, let's just go to the back because we couldn't. Maneuver. Yeah. So. So she, did you climb over, or did you get out of the car and go? Well, in the back? I got out. She just climbed over, and then we st- you started kissing. <laughs> Was yeah. good. Yes. Was it, was it cold nice. though in the car? Actually, it was so hot in there because all the all the body heat, f- oh. you know, everything's going on. Oh. I didn't even pay attention to that. I just paid attention to her. So you started making out, and then what'd she do? She took your shirt off. I actually went her first. You dr- and dressed her. Yep. And you did her. I just had this little obsession, not obsession, but like if I when I am with a woman. Um, I am um, appealed to their breasts. Mm. Appeal to their breasts? I appeal, I am very, uh, their attracted. breasts are appealing. Their yeah, breasts are yeah. appealing You're to you. You're attracted to their breasts. Yes. You am appealed to them. <laughs> Allow me so. to appeal to your breasts. <laughs> Sorry. Oh You're very God. into another woman's breasts. Yes. Yeah. I mean, even when I see, like look at regular magazines, I'm always just fo- I'm not focusing in on the bottom. I'm just focusing in on the top. But it sounds like you focused on the bottom in the back seat of the car. We both did. You both did. Wow. Oh. And both of you were completely nude in the back of this car. Well, like, you know, like the shirts were down, you know, wow. but the, 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 the pants wow. were down. And, and this ain't the first time you've done this. No. Have you gotten together with her again? No, this is the, the first, first time, time I've been with her. Yeah, but the other, the other experience was when I lived somewhere else and it was a friend of mine and it was sort of awkward because it was with the... The boyfriend at the time, but he was cold, passed out, drunk, so he doesn't even remember it. But uh, we were all three in the room. So, so what made you go to a 200-pound dyke? <laughs> What's yeah. wrong with you? Yeah. In the beginning, like when I was curious, I'm like, is this what I'm attracted to, or is this what I'm attracted? And I thought because she looked more boyish, mm. yeah, she was that I would manly. like, I would like being. You might be a lesbo. No. I trust think she me. Is, I, no, trust me. I love, you love the man. male. I do, but. The curiosity of the women and having fun with the women. All right, hey, you're up for a party. Nope. I got to hand it to yeah, you. Yeah, some guys should be attracted to that. I'm right? kind of surprised that uh, you can't attract a good man. But we didn't get a straight answer out of her as far as her standards are concerned with a guy, like looks wise. Yeah, you wouldn't I go with Ben Girardi. Well, like, what is? Uh, uh, seriously, be honest. I would. I would date them. I mean, I'm not. Disc- I don't. I don't say. Oh, he's not good. I mean, yeah, looks is of course first, but <laughs> he's very funny. Veronica, you're on the air. He's funny. Yeah. Go ahead. You know what? Thank you. That's all I want. Go ahead. I, hey, you know what? This chick is even annoying to women. She needs to shut up. She needs to shut up. Yeah. Hey, wait! I found a guy for you. Yes, go no. ahead, sir. Hi, honey. How are you? Oh no. <laughs> Hi, Pitch Eric wants you. Hi. Yes. Well, would you go out with me? Are you interested? I have a high pitch voice just like you. Who's high pitch? Who's high pitch? This is Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, Tom, you're on the air. Hey, man, this this chick is such a liar. It hurts me. Why, Why? is she lying? She there is no way she did a girl in the car when she can't even go out on the beach in a in a two piece. Right. What do you say about two piece? He's saying that you're not that wild because like you don't eat like. I will, but I don't like the way. My body looks personally. I could show. So, so wait, you don't like the way his body looks, but you were in the back seat eating some girl out Whoa. where people could see you. Dude. Dude. Whatever. Dude. 
No. Let me see your belly. You want me to stand up? Yeah, stand up. Let me see. Maybe you get some fat on there. Check that out. It's not bad. It's nice. Oh, she's got lots of nice body. You got some curves. How are your legs? We're in that long skirt. I can't see anything. I mean, not bad. I mean, you look good. You know, I went to a one piece a while ago, and it's working for me. You're into the unitard. <laughs> yeah, I'm a unitard. Well, here's my my best guess with you. You got to be incredibly annoying. That's the only <laughs> thing I can figure because you're it's good looking. It's got to be a personality thing. It's just like you're in everyone's face. You know what I mean? Like you got to just calm down or something. But it's, let me just ask somebody, if someone who is verbal, that's annoying? Someone who yeah. talks For chicks it is, yeah. Verbal yeah. chicks. Guys don't really dig Guys that. Guys aren't into listening to you. You got like 50%, <laughs> Except for of, 50 of the time you got to shut up. 50? I mean, yeah. Make it 70. I'm starting out to something that I know she could maybe do. <laughs> 70, she ain't an obtainable goal. That's what you do. Listen, sweetheart, some gotta, of us are annoying and ugly, so at least you got your bat in 500. I mean, when girls are on here, like I've seen so many girls on here that to me are annoying, but you like them because she they already are annoying. Boobs. You're fighting with everyone. No, I just want to know why. What's the difference? Just because I speak my mind. Oh, opinions. You're, we don't want opinions. Guys right. don't want opinions. No. Yeah, you're opinionated and confrontational. <laughs> like, immediately when somebody says something you don't really like, so you're ready to fight. Yeah. Yeah. You got to calm down. <laughs> you're like Gloria Stein. I'm you're way defensive. Everyone said that out in the hall, too. Like, if you just tell her, like, like they Sal like said, me. tell her she has freckles on her chest and she'll freak. Yeah. And you did. Of course. We Sal tested did. it. You're annoying. <laughs> So you have freckles on your chest. So you go, hey, so I have, that's it. I don't mean to. You don't know you're annoying. You are. That's the only thing I can see. You're good looking. Yeah, annoying is fixable. But if you were ugly, it wouldn't be fixable. So you're you 32. You're still living at home. No one's looking I for you. <laughs> I'm saving money to get my own apartment right now. I just moved back, and it's, it's very expensive in New York on a teacher's salary to live in a... You need money? I'll give you yes. 500 if you... Let me think of something good. Shut up. <laughs> no, she can't do that. You want I've given chicks five hundred for a lot more. I uh, tell you what, I'm gonna offer you five hundred bucks right now if you lay down on the floor, completely dressed, mm -hmm. and let Will the farter fart in your face <laughs> five hundred times. No, no, fart. Fart on your head without you moving your head. Not five hundred <laughs> on your head. <laughs> Nope. Well, then you're not going to get it. That's a year's What's salary. What's your price? That's a year's salary for a teacher. <laughs> no, it is. Believe me, I date a teacher. I know what they mean. How about... I don't know. It doesn't matter. Can it be something else besides no, farting? No, that's it. Bring in Will the farter. <laughs> it could Bring be burping. Will. Bring in Will the farter. Here he is. That's this my man. This guy right here? That's Will. Not a bad-looking guy either. He's hot. No. Hi, Will. You're my hero. How How's are you doing, it? Howard? Give her a sample of what you can do. Show her. Okay. Give us a blast. <laughs> Don't choke, pal. I need you. Let me sit on my, let me sit on my ass. Sit on your ass. <laughs> He's not really doing that, is he? Oh, yeah. Why don't you go find out? He's for real. Stick your face there. No. Stick your face there, honey. <laughs> Wow, Will. Will, nice. No, definitely not. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, because I like you, and I want to see you get some money. And this is my last offer I'm in it. I'll give you a grand, $1,000, to take 500 of his farts. And you can't move your head. A G note. How long is one thousand dollars? does that take? Do take about, I'll show you one How much did he just do right now? Right there, I would count that as three. Three? There's no... How about a hundred? How about a hundred? How about 50 farts? No, but do another fart. Then I'll tell you how long. I'll tell you what it counts as, because I'm an expert. Listen. <laughs> oh my God! There's no way. <laughs> oh, that would be that would be five. <laughs> It'll take you about three hours. Yeah, you'll be here till How tomorrow when we here? get back. What? How long are you going to be here? I'll be here for if he has to do 500. That it, won't go over, it will not go over 10 minutes. I can guarantee you he's that. Really? Nonstop. As long as you don't move your head. Right. If you move your head, i got to start so over. So he's just going to be like right there? Yep. Right. He's going to be in your face. Actually, we found this guy on J-Date. No, you didn't. He looks Italian. It's a thousand bucks. Right now. A thousand bucks. A thousand bucks. It's a lot of money. If you take... 
Well, you just give it to me? Like, once I, you just give it to me? Bob you know, boy. here's what happens. You fill out a form. It takes about a week or two to get to you. So I, I can't hand you the cash, but it's We yours. promise. We can't, we can't fool you. It's a trick. Uh, you trick. have to give me the even... money. Gary, you slime. What are you thinking? What's in that head of yours? She's thinking she needs that money. You're damn right. I need that money. I have a lot of things to do, but I'm not, I don't even have that thousand money. dollars. Boyfriends fart in front of me. Well, you yeah, got it. It's, it's never easy to win a radio contest. All yeah. Right. You ready? I have to lay down. Lay yeah. down on the floor. He'll he'll stick his ass in your face. You know who would do this? A chick who's not annoying. Right. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> Good. Let's get the well, game on. Can I not on. get the annoying kick anymore? Then right. Well, do let's it. see. This. Let's get down on the this floor and the see you do it. This is the start of your not. Take off your headphones right. and get on over there. This is your first step into non-annoyance. Yeah. All right, Jamie. Meet Will the Farter, the man of your dreams. And there goes Jamie. She's uh, cute, but can't understand why she can't get a man. She needs money. I've offered her $1,000 to take 500 farts. <laughs> I'm standing up for this so I can do the play-by-play, Rob. And you've got to make sure she abides by the rules. If she moves her head, I will begin the counting over again. Be so it's very <laughs> careful. She's laying on the floor. She looks good, right, Artie? I think she looks fantastic. She's got a nice body. <laughs> really cute. I just pray that Will doesn't have an accent. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the other oh, thing. Oh, no. Now, Will, wait a second. I don't like the way your head is positioned. I mean, her head is positioned. You want to be laying in my ass? Or yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> next to right next to her face should be right next to you. What a charmer. Oh, my. So she should turn over? <laughs> turn um, turn yeah, she has to turn around. Turn around? You mean flip over? Flip over, honey. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, now lift your leg up and get into position, Will. Whatever you're comfortable in. All right. Lie on your side. Lie on your, Lie on your side. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> We're getting it set up for the oh e-camera. Oh, my goodness. Guy, get a mask. Go, right, go ahead, Jamie. you got to be right up there. Yeah, go ahead. Get up. <laughs> closer, or I can't give you the $1,000. There we go. Okay. Where's right. the... There Do it not, is. Jamie... Lock your your head is locked into position. Oh, if you move your head, I begin all over again. Do you understand me? Yes. Say yes or no. Yes. All and right. It's five hundred. Five hundred farts. Wow. Can you? What is that? One more thing. Can you please maybe change two hundred? See why you're I annoying. Still, all right, right, five hundred. Ah, oh, <laughs> all right. Bury your head. Bury your head. Put your head down. Your head's not close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Open your eyes. She has to look? Yes. <laughs> All right, that is 15. <laughs> 90. That's 24. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. We're up to 94. She's she's doing, get in her first hundred. She's doing well. <laughs> Hasn't moved her head. She's smart. She's playing it smart. <laughs> All right. We're, we've hit over a hundred. We've hit over a hundred. So let me stop you for one second. How are you holding up? I'm doing fine. You're doing okay, Will? Yeah. All right. Can I move or don't? No, don't, don't move. Don't okay. move. How are you holding up, Jamie? I'm doing good. I'm trying to just think of something. I'm what are you? Something good to eat. What are you thinking about? <laughs> something good to eat? I'm just. I'm trying not to think of the situation. Think of pop tarts. <laughs> All right. You're up to 107. Oh, that's so, more than that. No, I'm right. counting. Uh, I'm being very each fair, by the way. Little piece is a fart. <laughs> Don't be annoying. Right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Go ahead. We've only got 400 more. Oh my God. Go ahead. <laughs> and begin. Thank you, Will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to count that as seven. Yeah. Thank you, Howard. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> See, you have a good sense of humor, Jamie. Yeah. Yes, I do. You're cute. I have my own. <laughs> 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 Will adjusting his position right now. Yeah, holding onto his leg. Will is a pro. This Will is something. I cannot something. believe he's doing this. Will, how great are you at this? 
Look at her. <laughs> What's the count now? The All count right. is 170. <laughs> you only have a couple of hundred more to go. Oh, Howard. <laughs> Will, what's happening? Will, was I there know. an accident? Go- no. Yes. Sorry, what? I'm just trying to reposition myself. Go ahead. Well, what if I bend over? All right, if you want to change your position. Jamie, don't move. move. Will, Will will back into you. Whatever you need to do, Will. Yeah. <laughs> will, it's up to you. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, my goodness. Get closer, get closer. please, Jamie. All right, let's go. Hey. Oh. Can't believe we couldn't get Nicole Richie to do this. <laughs> Some sh- sugar. <laughs> Okay, somebody's coming out of that. One. All right, let's. Oh. I'm gonna give you one. I'm gonna give you 30 more seconds. Go ahead. You've been a good sport. Thank you. Go ahead. Give her one good one, Will. Yeah, enough of this playing around. <laughs> Don't play around. Can a nose be right my ass for that one? Here we go. Nope, this is it. It's right go here. ahead. Go ahead. Give her the good, good, good blast. Give her one big one. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, Believe me, she's right there, Will. <laughs> I'm right here. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, oh, <laughs> wow. coming wow. out of that wow. Oh, is that it? Standing ovation. <laughs> <laughs> well, Whoa. you've done well. I, I I must admit, Jamie, you were a good sport. You've won a trooper. You've won a thousand dollars. You see? It wasn't so bad, was it? No. It was funny. <laughs> 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 no, it was fine. Jamie, you want right. some egg whites? <laughs> Something good to eat? Yes, please. Will, uh, because you are such a, a pro at this and uh, so experienced and been such a good sport, <laughs> I would like to give you $500 for your efforts uh, you. here today. I believe you are a big <laughs> part of this. <laughs> make sure you report um, that, Will. Yeah, make sure you report it to the IRS. We don't want okay. you getting into trouble. Yeah, and write down for farting. For farting. farting. So yes. they understand what it's for. Uh, so, Will, thank you. Where are you from, Will? People are fascinated by you. Uh, I'm from Bel Air, Maryland. What is your favorite word? <laughs> oh, sorry, wrong show. Okay. Uh, Bernard Pivot. Yeah. My hero, Bernard Pivot. Congratulations to you, Will. Jamie, it might be that you talk too much. I could see you're a cute girl, so it's got to be that. It's your personality it has to be annoying. But today, I think you took a big first step. Yeah, I love her now. You got down on the floor. You took a whiff of Will. You didn't whine and bitch through the whole thing. I, and I got to tell you, Howard, you know, I thought she was a little talky and mm-hmm. it maybe moderately annoying, maybe a tiny bit. But once she told those lesbian stories, that goes right out the window. Right. That was a that was a big plus in your favor. So, Do you think she should be, that's the talking she should be doing? Hell on yes. Day? First date, tell the guy. If you're going to talk, talk about the times you've scored with chicks and how you went out into the and car. Listen, and listen, okay. I don't mean this to sound mean or anything, but when you talk, it's kind of like Carl Malone elbowing you in the face. That's oh. what it feels like. Like, it's well, really... It's, it's annoying. How's her face smell, Gary? Is it okay? Yeah, she's all right. She's all right. All right, good. She's good right. to go. That's good. So it's not your face that smells. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing smells on me. I'm very clean. Bob, well, so you just you were just well, with Will. I was just honestly, I was just like holding in the smell like that and just taking it right. through my mouth. So yeah. I mean, that's a very good strategy, by the way. Thank you. Yes. Will, thank you for coming all the way down here. You're and uh, Jamie, thank you. Good thank luck. Thank you, Howard. Thank, thank you, you, everybody. And good luck with everything. Thanks a lot.